Hello friends and welcome to my channel Dad's Curious Girl and in this video we will discuss the national parks of five states West Bengal, Orisha, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and Bihar. So firstly we will start with the West Bengal and to, there are total six national parks in the West Bengal. The first national park that we will discuss is the Sundarban National Park. And it is located in South 24 Parganas in the West Bengal. In the map below, you can see the location of this national park highlighted by the red dot. Here you can see that this national park is just adjacent to the Bangladesh. This national park is also a tiger reserve, a biosphere reserve and it is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And this national park is part of Sundarbans on the Ganges Delta. So Sundarbans mein hi ye national park located hai. Ye ek tiger reserve bhi hai, ye biosphere reserve bhi hai. And UNESCO bhi isko world heritage site declare kar chuka hai. Now it is not mentioned here but it is also a Ramsar site. So and, uh, Ramsar sites are the wetlands of international importance. And just ka naam hai Sundarban National Park, it is given to it due to the presence of Sundari trees which are a special kind of mangrove trees found in large number in this national park. And this national park ka jo pura ecosystem hai, it is a wetland and it consists of mangrove forest. Agar hum important fauna ki baat karte hai, so Royal Bengal Tigers are found here which are endangered. Then saltwater crocodile is found here. Olive Ridley turtles are found here. They are vulnerable. River Terrapin is critically endangered and it is found here. Uh, this picture is of River Terrapin and it is a type of turtle which is critically endangered. Then Gangs River Dolphin is also found here. It is also endangered according to IUCN. Horsekill Sea Turtle is found here which is critically endangered. Iravari dolphin which is endangered is also found here. So these were the few important animals found in this national park. And uh, there are many species of birds, reptiles, mammals which are found here. But we will discuss only those which can be asked in the exam. So this was the Sundarban National Park. And one special feature of this park is that in this park the Bengal tigers which are present they have special tendencies of swimming in the saline water also they have man eating capacities and there have been several cases in the parks between the human and the tiger conflict okay so the next national park that we will discuss is the Nura Valley National Park and it is located in the Kalimpong district and the name Nura Valley has been given to it because Nura River flows through this national park. And in the map you can see that this national park borders Sikkim and Bhutan. Okay. So the most important fauna of this national park are the red panda which is endangered species according to the IUCN. And these are present on very rare locations. So they are found here. Also clouded leopards which are vulnerable are found here. The next national park of West Bengal that we will discuss is Jaldapara National Park and this national park was formerly a wildlife sanctuary but in 2012 it was declared a national park and it is present in Alipurduar district in the map you can see the location and it is present on foothills of eastern Himalayas and on the banks of Tosa River. So in exams many a times the river and the national parks are the asked ki kaun se national park se kaun se river flow karti hai. So remember this national park is present on the banks of the Tosa River and the ecosystem here is the savanna covered with tall elephant grass. So tall elephant grass yahan pe present hai, savanna ecosystem yahan pe milta hai and important fauna of this national park include one horned rhinoceros which is vulnerable. So one horn rhinoceros यहाँ पे काफी large number में मिलते हैं and India में सबसे ज़्यादा one horn rhinoceros मिलते हैं Kaziranga National Park में and उसके बाद second number पे maximum one horn rhinoceros इसी park में present है and Bengal florican which is a bird and it is critically endangered is also found here and also elephants are found here in large number. So this was the Jaldapara National Park. The next national park of West Bengal that we will discuss is Paksa National Park. Now this national park is also a tiger reserve. In the map you can see the location. If we see the location, Himalayas are present to the north of this national park and its northern boundary runs along with Bhutan. Okay? 
and since its boundary runs along with bhutan this park also serves as the international corridor for asian elephant migration and on its east manas national park is present on its southwest chilapata forest is present so these all locations serve as an elephant corridor through which elephants migrate and uh, Historic Baksa Fort is a it is a fort which is present inside this national park and it is also a tourist attraction. Now this park ha- is very rich in birds and two eighty four bird species are found here. And if we talk about the fauna, then tigers are found here since it is a tiger reserve. So tigers to hain is park me. Iske alawa slender billed vulture and white rumped vulture are the two important birds found in this national park this uh, picture is of slender billed vulture and these both vultures are critically endangered and they are found here also an ancient group ancient ethnic group drupkas reside here so in upsc many a times questions are asked about ancient ethnic group so remember drupkas are ancient ethnic group of west bengal residing in the baksa national park the next national park that we will talk about is the guru mara national park so guru mara national park is present in the jalpaiguri district of west bengal and it is located in dowars region of the himalayan foothills okay remember dowars region of the himalayan foothill and this national park is present in the flood plain of murti river and raidak river murti river and raidak river and one of the major river of the park is the jal dhaka river this river jal dhaka river is a tributary of the brahmaputra river system if we talk about the important fauna then indian rhinoceros are present here as i told you before indian rhinoceros are vulnerable king cobra is also found here which is also vulnerable according to the iucn the next and the last national park of west bengal is the singalila national park it is located on singalila ridge okay that is why the name has been given singalila national park it is present in the darjeeling district in the map you can see the location highlighted by the red dot and This national park is a part of Eastern Himalayas. Thus, it has the two highest peaks of the West Bengal, and uh, the two highest peaks of West Bengal, I think, are uh, Sandakhu and Philoth, which are the two highest peaks, and uh, these peaks are present in this national park. Also, River Rammam and River Siri Khola are the two rivers which flow through this national park. If we talk about important fauna, then red panda, leopards, barking deer, etc. found here so these were the six national park of west bengal sundarbans national park miura valley national park jaldapara national park buksa national park guru mara national park and singalila national park okay now we will talk about the national parks of odisha okay so the first national park that we will talk about is the bhitar karnika national park Bhitar Karnika National Park is present in Kendra Para district in the map you can see the location that it is just present on the coast and it is also a wetland and thus it is a ramsar site four rivers brahmani betarani dhamra and patshala are the rivers which flow through it also it is the second largest mangrove ecosystem of india and if we talk about the main fauna then uh, the wetland fauna is same to the sundarbans salt water crocodile indian python king cobra olive ridley turtles are found here olive ridley turtles is shown in the picture and these turtles are very important and they come here in large numbers the next national park of orisha is the similipal national park it is present in mayurbhanj district of orisha and it is also a tiger reserve Now this national park is also the part of Mayurbhanj Elephant Reserve. So Mayurbhanj Elephant Reserve is formed of Similipal Tiger Reserve and two wildlife sanctuaries, including the Hadgar Wildlife Sanctuary and Kuldiha Wildlife Sanctuary. So it is part of Mayurbhanj Elephant Reserve, and the name Similipal has been given to this national park due to the presence of red silk cotton trees. So red silk cotton trees are found here in large number. and uh, this national park is the part of unesco world network of biosphere reserves okay and uh, burha balanga palpala bandau kheri dio are the rivers which flow through this national park if we talk about the important fauna now since it is a tiger reserve then elephants 
sorry tigers are found here it is also a elephant reserve so elephants are found here and leopard mugger crocodiles etc are also found here this national park also has many beautiful waterfalls okay so these were the two national park of orisha orisha has only two national parks that we have discussed bhitar karnika national park and the similipal national park now we will discuss the national parks of chatisgarh so the first national park that we will discuss is the indravati national park it is present in the bijapur district of chatisgarh in the map you can see the location and the name indravati has been given to it from the nearby indravati river so indravati river flows near it due to which it has been given this name this national park is also a tiger reserve so tigers are found here also this national park has one of the last population of the endangered wild asian buffalo so in, in the exam if it is asked where are wild asian buffaloes found then remember these are found in indravati national park in the picture you can see the picture of wild asian buffalo uh, these are, are also called wild water buffaloes and this is endangered according to the iucn The next national park of Chhattisgarh is the Kanger Valley National Park. It is present in the Bastar region of Chhattisgarh and it is located amidst 34 km long Kanger Valley and now since it is located in the Kanger Valley so Kanger River flows through it and if we talk about the fauna then Bastar Hill Myna which is state bird of chatisgarh are found here and uh, this park is rich in many species like tigers leopards porcupines etc uh, this national park is a great tourist attraction as many tourist attractions are present in this park like teethgarh waterfalls kailash caves and uh, kanger waterfall are found here due to which it is a Uh, good tourist attraction so this was the uh, kanger valley national park and these were the two par uh, parks of chatisgarh indravati national park and kanger valley national park now we will discuss the national park of bihar and jharkhand both bihar and jharkhand have one one national park each so valmiki national park is the national park found in bihar and it is the only national park in bihar it is also located in the india nepal border okay it is present in the west champaran district on the bank of river gandak so remember it is present on the bank of river gandak on the india nepal border this national park is a tiger reserve as well as a wildlife sanctuary and it is located on the foothills of the himalayan shivaliks if we talk about the fauna then bengal tigers indian rhinoceros clouded leopard flying fox which is a type of bat are found here and we have discussed all these animals in the previous national parks also and jharkhand has one national park betla national park this is present in chhota nagpur plateau in the palamu district this national park is also a tiger reserve and koyal river flows through the park koyal river this park has a lake kamaldha lake so remember kamaldha lake is in betla national park if we talk about the fauna then elephants wolf jackals etc are found here so these were the national parks of these five states if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share it my video as much as possible thank you and have a nice day